Well, we've changed the laundry room a bit. And I am doing laundry now. We're adding in a little tool closet here. We've got the new pump since the other one broke. Awesome sauce. Everything seems to be working, except I'm going to have to get a new hose. This hose seems to be leaking. That's why I have a bucket under it for now. Okay, how in the heck did you get there? <laughs> what in the freak? How did he get stuck? Wait, what? Oh! How did you get there? Huh? You gotta get down from, I think he went from under here. Get, go, scout, go, go, go. Come on, no, uh, go down here. Come on, down here. No, right here. Hey, Kellogg. 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 Kellogg, come on. Come here. Underneath. Good here, boy. boy. Come, come on. on. No, no, no. Come on. Hey, come, on. come here, come here. Come on, come on, come on. Good boy. That's how he did it. All right, twist up under there, see? You must have been chasing some kind of, maybe a pack rat or something. <laughs> He's like, I'm free. He's like, why is he whining? And then I saw his head sticking out from under there. Silly goose. For those of you that didn't watch my video about my washing machine, I'll try to put a link at the end of the video in one of the boxes. But it's the Cuppet washing machine and I got it off of eBay. With this setup, the workflow is definitely easier. I just take the clothes out of the washing machine and then put them into the sink, and then from there I hang them onto the clothesline. In the other video, I explained that I do collect the gray water from the washing machine. I do use biodegradable soaps, and then I take those buckets and put it on my flowers and other plants. I just don't use it on the edible stuff because I fertilize those, and I just use regular water with those. Since the earthworm catastrophe, we had to order some more worms, so I'm going to go ahead and get the worm bins made. What I'm basically doing, this one's already done is I have holes on the lid and holes on the bottom here for drainage. And this is just the regular bucket. This will collect all the liquids. This goes in here and that's basically it. Both of the earthworm bins are done. This side here is for the red wigglers and this is earthworms here. I decided to drill more holes in the lids right here on the edge and also two layers of holes here. There's some right here on this lip and some right here because you want airflow and oxygen to get in there. You don't want it to get stagnant. Yay, it's all ready for them. When I was on the road, I used this air garden to grow lettuce, but now that we're back at the homestead, I'm going to use it to start some seeds. I'm going to do some cherry tomatoes, zucchini, and a cucumber and peas. But with this, it comes with the same thing, but no seeds in it. You just put your little seed in there. And then you can transplant it into a pot once it starts growing and the weather warms up. I'm super excited to be getting the seed started. I've already got so much sown already, but I just have to wait for it to come up. Baby, if you let me try, I'll give you what you want. Here comes the down times when you go blind. You say that I'm just wasting my time. You say you're too Okay, everything is up and running. I got the yellow cherry tomatoes here, the zucchini here, the sugar snap peas here, and the straight eight cucumbers here. I like this system because it has these caps and everything is nice and neat and clean. I might not have mentioned this, but this does come with a liquid fertilizer, but in the future I plan on making my own liquid fertilizer so I don't have to buy it from the company. And 
I'm gonna also reuse these pods. I have the old ones drying out in the sink now. We're gonna see how this grows. I'm also gonna try them outside and see how they grow. I've got the yellow tomatoes here, zucchini, sugar snaps, and straight eights. So I'll just leave these outside and then at night I'll bring them in. I've already got a lot of seeds planted but these are mainly ornamentals and flowers except this one here is a cilantro. I just watered all of these in. I'm trying to keep them watered every day. If you're wondering what these are, I know people use gallon jugs to grow in but it doesn't leave them much space. What they do is they cut the top here and then they plant inside make sure there's some holes and then they duct tape the top back on. I don't particularly care for this idea. These I cut the bottoms off and it's like a mini greenhouse. They fit perfectly on these containers right there. There's no tape involved. It holds well. Obviously it's windy today and none of them have blown off and they can still be easily removed. I found ones for these. Unfortunately I only have two of them but this is what my green juice comes in so I'll get more. So these aren't covered. But yeah, this is working great. Look at the humidity is already starting to build up in there. Amazing. I don't have any big enough for these or small enough for these. So next time I'm just going to buy a bunch of these pots and grow in these pots because I think this is going to work out better for me. I was going to use these as the bottom tray to catch the water. I mean, it'll work, but it's kind of unbalanced a little bit. I'll keep these in a bag for now. I might be able to use them for something else. So I'll just leave them like they are. Serena brought over her box of goodies. These are seeds. So wow. Those sunflowers I grew. Ooh, sunflowers, yes. These are all different pollinators. Wow. Oh, wow. Zinnias, alyssum. Nice. I love zinnias. Yeah, you got like a treasure trove here. Yeah, so make your choices. <laughs> okay, you can cool. Make as much as you want. I don't even have a garden. Is that corn I see? Um, <laughs> yeah. I've got a bunch of different corns. Um, here's these are the sugar and peas. Nice. And then the sugar pot Oregon sugar pods. And cool. Well, you're gonna be here for a couple days, so I can yes, go I can through it and it. stuff. You yes. Play with my box. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs> I bought these bags of earthworm castings while I was on the road. I'm getting ready to make some tea, but I want to store these in this five gallon bucket here. And I brought, bought the screw cap lid. watch my channel you've seen me make this before all it is is a cheesecloth and I use two huge handfuls use normally only one but I'm gonna move up to a five gallon bucket so I'm making more so I use two handfuls then I just fold it up and tie it up so it all stays in here and doesn't get the get into the water and get things clogged up my five gallon bucket for the compost tea is ready. I'm using the one with the screw on lid. I won't screw on the lid, but I will have the lid there because the last time I tried to make tea in a five gallon bucket, I had two rats that jumped in and drowned. So I had to dump those out. I was like, ugh. So we're gonna go ahead and just throw the bag in there, fill it with water. We've been having issues with this pump not wanting to cut on. Should be, is it? Yeah, both are open. Okay, let me wiggle this. It might be this connector. I don't know. Who knows? Okay, there it goes. It cut on. You have a power issue, and then after the power is figured out, yeah. It takes a while to... There it goes. I moved it over here by my rig. I'm just gonna put the bubblers in. There we go. The bag's already in there. Turn on the solar pump. There we go. 
I'm just gonna cover it so no critters want to jump in awesome I left a crack in the lid because I still want airflow I don't want to seal it tight I just want the thing to be covered so nothing gets in but still some airflow this is my new addition to the garden family I just planted it and this is a hardy lemon tree if you look closely you have yellow leaves with dark veins but I'm going to leave it for a couple days and see what happens because also you gotta remember it was a um, bare root plant so it just could have been in shock and that's the reason why I actually need to put it somewhere where it's not so windy but yeah usually it could be magnesium or iron deficiency but if it's on the newer leaves, see it's not, I think it's almost on all leaves. No, these uh, bigger leaves are fine. So it's just on the newer growth, which usually means uh, it's uh, deficient on manganese, which usually rectifies itself. So I'm just going to keep a close eye on it and hopefully it does good. I need to go ahead and water it too. And I put it over here by this bush. It's a desert holly to give it some protection from the wind. I want to check out Panda's propane system. Ugh, I need to clean that up. Gross. But this tank is leaking a little bit, so I want to put a extend the stay on here and use a different tank. Got some alcohol spray in here somewhere. Spray everything down. Ugh. Germs, germs, germs. I'm gonna let this dry out and then clean it. I said earlier that I was gonna rework all this before garden time. And I've already removed and emptied one bucket. This is the leftover dirt. This is not all of it, but some of it. I've laid the cardboard down over here, but I have not put any dirt on it or mulch. I think I'm going to bring two of these over and I want to get them in place. I've been pushing away everybody I love. I don't know what to do. Need a sign from above. I just want to be somebody who knows. I've got it filled up halfway and this is what I want to get planted in here. They're the red organic potatoes. I bought these at the store and they're already starting to sprout. As you can see, they're the eyes. Jimmy said he wouldn't mind planting these out for me. So he's going to plant six per container and then cover it with about five inches, five to six inches of soil. I seeded one golden potato per container because I want to see how those grow, but the rest are going to be red. Who knows how to behave, but I'm not even close. Won't you save, 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 save me? Won't you save, 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 save me? I am out here alone Cause there's nobody left I need someone to talk to Get this pain on my chest All the bad things I've done And the people I've hurt Wanna take that part of me And leave it in the dirt won't you save, 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 save me? Won't you save, 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 save me? Won't you save, 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 save me? Oh, save me. darkness for far too long now wanna tear down the curtains 
Let the sun shine in. Yay! Everything is done, and if the soil settles, and once the plants grow, I can uh, top it off with more soil. I am very glad and feel that I've been getting a lot done since we've only been here on the property for a short time. I think the mini greenhouses are going to work out really well because it's seed starting and I need to keep the humidity in there and that does that as you saw in the video. And also it just keeps it warm because the nights are still just a bit cool. So hopefully it'll keep the seeds warmer than if I just left them uncovered. And I have a project that I'm going to be starting on in the next video. It's a DIY project of building a fence for the garden area because I want to try to keep the rabbits, cows, and deer out of the garden. So I'm going to build a DIY pallet fence and we have to go and grab the pallets and then construct the gate or the, the actual fence with a gate in it. So that's going to be a chore and I'm excited about it but I know it's going to be a lot of work so that part I'm not so excited about. But I'll be glad to keep things out of the garden and hopefully it'll work. But, you know, only time will tell. And if I do have issues, I can just handle them then or deal with them at the time. But hopefully it will keep mostly everything out of the garden. That would be amazing. I want to thank you all for hanging out with me. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video and see what we're up to here on the homestead. Until then, stay safe and onward bound. Love you guys out there. Bye for now. And Moo says bye for now too. Bye. <laughs> you tired? I know it's getting late. Isn't it? It's sleepy time. Good night, y'all. Won't you say?